you're watching Texas Gun Blog, and today we're looking at a very cool Apache revolver. This is a pinfire knuckle duster knife revolver uh, trio type handgun, which was made notorious by the French underworld figures of the early 1900s known as Les Apaches. It was designed by Louis Dolnay, and he made a very small amount of these pinfire knuckle dusters in the 1860s. Uh, he manufactured these through the end of the 1800s, and they are extremely rare. The Apache operates on the principle of a pepper box revolver using a pinfire action and incorporates a fold-over knuckle duster forming the grip and also a rudimentary fold-out dual-edged knife. Due to the lack of a barrel, the revolver's effective range is obviously very limited. But since all of his component parts can be folded inwards towards the cylinder, it was easy con easily concealable inside of a pocket. It was common to leave an empty chamber with no cartridge under the firing pin to prevent shooting oneself while having it concealed in a pocket or bag, as the weapon has no trigger guard or safety. This weapon was not able to be aimed precisely because of its lack of front and rear sights. Despite its limited potential, the revolver proved deadly at an extremely close range. A 9mm revolver of similar design, but no official designation, was allegedly used by British commandos during World War II, though exact statistics about production numbers and technical details have as yet remained undisclosed to the public. This particular revolver is in my personal collection, and although it is for sale, uh, you're going to have to spend quite a bit of money to pry this from my hands because they are not easily replaceable uh, out of any firearms collection unless you want to spend a bunch of money. So this is serial number 2292. It's a 5 millimeter pin fire. It's got a 1.5 inch fluted barrel cluster, which would be the cylinders, uh, with fair lightly pitted bores. This sinister looking Dolnay marked pepper box was the brainchild of Louis Dolnay of Liege and combines a folding set of brass knuckles with both a six-shot pinfire revolver and a swing-out two and seven-eighth inch double-edged flambard shaped blade. The steel components of this weapon retain some faint traces of original blue but have otherwise turned to a mottled and freckled plum brown patina with some spots of mild surface oxidation and pin prick pitting, mainly in and around the flutes and on the barrel cluster. The brass frame and knuckles have likewise developed a pale yellow patina over time. The spring latches for the knife blade and grip are original and still lock firmly in place, but the revolver mechanism is only partially functional. The hammer functions as intended in double action, but the barrel uh, does not rotate nor does the trigger return spring function. So this is not a firearm that I am by any means looking to take apart. Uh, I have no interest in ever shooting it, and I have no interest in trying to repair it. If I do sell this revolver, uh, the new owner is more than welcome to uh, take it apart, but that is not something I'm looking to do. I simply enjoy playing with it. So. I'm proud to have been able to bring you this video. There's very few of them on a revolver like this, and I really hope you enjoy it. So please share this video everywhere you can, and if you haven't yet, please subscribe and check us out at texasgunblog.com. Thanks.